I'm just sad because Fred is a good person. He's one of the most genuine guys here, and I wish that I would have felt something more for him. He said all the things that I want someone that I'm in love with to say to me, but I did not see myself ever falling in love with Fred. And I know what that pain feels like to let someone lead you on and let you think that they care about you. And I could not bring myself to do that to either one of those guys. You know, I came here, you know, obviously because I thought fate brought me here. I just came here to find love. I was willing to put my heart out. You know, it was tough. It hurts a little bit, you know, when you kind of just open up like that. You know, it stings a little bit. If she's not feeling it, though, what are you going to do? I don't want to stick around to the end just to stick around, you know, so. I know that this decision process is not going to get any easier for me, but I'm praying and hoping that I have confidence and I stay strong through the end of this and that I make the right decisions. You know, I definitely want to settle down um, and definitely want to have a bunch of kids. You know, I love kids and I definitely want to do that. And I'm looking forward to doing that with somebody. I'm going to find that true happiness for myself. Okay. Man, what in the world do you think about that? Who's to say she, she can't do that at any point? I think Fred is a guy who can make her laugh, who has a great heart. I guess she just didn't feel an attraction to Fred. Oh man, she is miserable. Deanna's more than likely upset about what went on tonight. It's frustrating because unfortunately for me, I'm down here in the bunkhouse and Jason is actually up in the mansion there. So he's in a unique position to really make a statement tonight about being there for her. Do you want to talk about it or not? It was just rough. Why was it so rough? You know, obviously I had a little problem with Robert today. And so my day was pretty rough from that point on. But with Fred, like, Fred's a great guy. Fred was hard to let go of. He's going to make some girl very happy one day. You're doing what you have to do. Ah, oh, it is. It felt great to be able to comfort her, because I know she had a long night and an emotional night. I can really feel feelings growing stronger for Deanna, and I think she was able to learn to trust me more. Harder than you thought it would be. Tonight's date was really hard for me. I sent two really great guys home. And coming home to Jason, he made me feel really good. I wouldn't have wanted to be there with anyone else. Such a nice night, it's so clear out. Going into tonight's cocktail party, my feelings for Deanna are definitely growing. The time we spent together last night, I think she saw what I could be as a partner when she has a rough day that she could really lean on me and talk to me. And it gave me a huge advantage over the other guys. Wow. Hi. You look great. Thank you. Really you? great. Jason comforting me after the date, I mean, it was incredible. But I think that the tensions are gonna be very high tonight because a lot of the guys have not seen me since yesterday. I left not in a good mood. And I'm sure there are quite a few guys that are probably going to be worried about that. My stomach is in knots right now. I wasn't psyched that she was crying. You know, that's the last thing I wanna see her do. And uh, you know, then with, when both guys got sent home, that was kinda of like, whoa. It was a, a, a message to the rest of us that if there's not a connection there, if you're not putting forth the effort, you're going home. This is good. 
I get somebody to come pick me up at my room. Has that not happened yet? No. Oh, lucky me. Hi. Who'd you have to pay to be able to walk her in here? <laughs> Hi. Beautiful dress, how are you? Thank you. Good I'm to good. see you. Sean? Hey, Jake. I, I envy Jason's position, you know, being here alone in the mansion with, uh, with Deanna. I mean, I would give anything to be in that position. Jeremy? What's up, brother? How's It's good. I definitely sense a little bit of a threat. And so it's for that. I, I won't stop trying um, to let her see that, you know, I do want to be here. I do want to be with her. Seeing you yesterday, seeing you get upset was, was really tough, you know, and so, but I wanted you to know that I, uh, I understood, you know, that the situation was, was not ideal. I mean, yeah. it was supposed to be fun. And I know, I know. You were supposed to have a good time, and the guys just weren't, weren't treating you with the respect that you wanted, and, and we all played a part in it, you know, and so, another thing. You were one of the few people hanging out with me all day, so. <laughs> right, I mean, you know. I, You're uh, one of the few people that are always there hanging out with me. And how do you feel about that? I like it. I feel like you're always putting forth an effort and it just gets better and better every time we're together. I agree, I agree. Jeremy always seems to show me that he is putting me first and that he's here for the right reasons and that makes me feel good in this situation. I'm glad we got to talk. Yeah, me too. Speaking of which, man, you know, you being here in the mansion, you did spend all night with Yana. Did you guys get a chance to talk at all? Yeah, well, I mean, she first came in and I just said, hey, you know, she was dressed up, and I said, hey, why don't you get into something more comfortable, and, and if you want to talk about it, let me know. So she got changed? She got changed, she and she wanted it. to talk about it. I mean, talked about that for quite a while. Wow. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I was a little jealous, because Jason being alone with Deanna and having the chance to comfort her is big. I mean, that's, to me, that's the beginning of opening your heart up to someone. I mean, are you starting to feel something developing, or? Um, I could definitely say that there's a lot more feelings involved. Um, and that's good, it's fun. I love, I love when emotions get going. It's yeah, part of yeah. life. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's a beautiful night. Oh, I want to be outside yeah, as much yeah. as possible tonight. It's a big disadvantage for me that I have not lived in the big house. And it's important for me to stay. I want to be here. I want to convey to Deanna what I'm about and to try and bond with her. Even under pressure, your honesty shines through, and it's the, your best quality. You know what? My dad never taught us to um, hold back on anything. Yeah. You know, if, mm. if we were upset about something, we should we should let that person know. It's better to talk about it than to go to sleep mad. And I never go to sleep mad. You're right. That's the most important thing in any relationship, especially yeah. a romantic relationship, because yeah. having a dialogue about what's bothering you and resolving it and learning from it and. That's important for me. Yeah. I'm getting married one time. Me too. It's, it's, that's the reason I'm 31 and, and not married, is because I'm finding one person. And that's, I agree. Uh, one time and one time only. Yes. Yeah. Dude, yeah, 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 hey, hey. Look out the window, dude. Brian's holding on to her hands. Oh. It, you are so easy to talk to. It's, it's fun. Wow. And she's smiling. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing something right. The stakes are really high right now. And what I mean by that is that every guy here has got a big connection with Deanna. And we all know that. So whoever goes home tonight, it's going to be hard on. If you had to call somebody to go home right now, who would it be? Twilly. It's, it's scary. Yeah. I told you I was going to open my heart up to you. And uh, I'm fearful. I mean, you know, I don't get... I don't get that much time with you. And I know that that's part of this. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. It's, and it's hard, but you have to know that there is a connection there or you wouldn't still be here, you know? And I have, like I said, I have so much confidence in you. Okay. I really do. And I mean, you're so gorgeous and you're so nice. And I mean, you have all the qualities in, in a girl that, you know, I would want to be with. I just want you to know that if I could tell you something that you know I really want to do, it would be to, to, to explore that connection a little bit more. Yeah. And I'm willing to wait for whatever I need to wait for, because you are definitely worth it. Thank you. I think that she's starting to see that there's a little more to me than just this outrageous guy. And I mean, if she keeps me around tonight, you know, definitely um, she's, she's still interested.